96 double fertilization it's an event unique to what is double fertilization double fertilization is two time fertilization means first is triple fusion and second is syngamy so these two type of fertilization together called the double fertilization and this double fertilization is unique to the flowering plants called the angiosperms so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question question number 97 read the following statements a ovules are not enclosed by ovary wall b leaves are well adapted to withstand extremes of temperature humidity and wind c embryo sac represents the female gametophyte d the ovules are born on male sporophylls which may be clustered to form the female cone how many above statements are correct regarding gymnosperms so you have to find out that how many statements are correct regarding the gymnosperms now ovules are not enclosed by the ovary wall it is true that they have naked seeds b leaves are well adapted to withstand extremes of temperature humidity and wind it is also true embryo sac represents the female gametophyte no only in angiosperms the embryo sac represents the female gametophyte in gymnosperm the female gametophyte is also called the endosperm because it is formed before fertilization and it is haploid so this is incorrect d1 the ovules are born on the mega sporophylls which may be clustered to form the female cones it is also correct so how many of them are correct three so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's pick up the next question question number 98 phenomenon of absorption of water by seeds and dry wood is called when the dry seeds and the dry wood they absorb water this is called the imbibition so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 what about the other phenomena gutation it is due to root pressure when there is a release of water in the form of droplets from the margin of the leaves it is called gutation and it is due to the root pressure osmosis you may be knowing about osmosis that it is the movement of water molecules through a semi permeable membrane what about the active absorption active absorption requires atp so it is energy dependent absorption of water or minerals let's move to the next question question number 99 which of the following pair is wrongly matched gymnosperms homosporous no all gymnosperms are heterosporous only the class of plants which have homosporous as well as heterosporous plants are pteridophytes otherwise bryophytes they are purely homosporous gymno and angio they are purely heterosporous cycas pinnate leaves it is true angiosperms they are non archegoniate yes they don't have archegonia they are phenerogams yes they are seed bearing plants this is true sequoia tallest gymnosperm yes sequoia is the tallest gymnosperm so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question question number 100 which of the following plants belongs to the class pteropsida option 1 equisetum equisetum belongs to the class sphenopsida so this is wrong Selaginella it belongs to the class Lycopsida so this is not correct Silotum belongs to the class Silopsida this is also incorrect Edientum belongs to the class Pteropsida because ferns they belong to the class Pteropsida Edientum is also a fern so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move to the next question 